Now that we have the mock-up installed, the glasses in place, the door and hardware are in, I need to finish off this project by doing the door closer. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do just that. This is a door closer, and it's very typical for this type of application. And according to the instructions, it can be installed a few different ways. First, the standard installation, which is great because it provides the most power efficiency. The nice thing about this method is that it can also be installed on the pull side of the door. Unfortunately, it does have a downside. It doesn't work well with narrow style doors, unless you use one of those drop blades, which is kind of unsightly. Next, we have our top jam installation, which is the best alternative to our standard installation. This method is meant for the pull side of the door, just like my mock-up. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. It not only has great functionality, but it can also be installed on narrow style doors. The last one is the parallel arm installation. This method tucks the arm nice and clean into the closer so it doesn't stick out. Unfortunately, this one is the least efficient. It doesn't work on narrow style doors and it can only be put on the push side of the door. It does look really nice though and it's the least likely to get vandalized, which makes it a nice option. So today I'm gonna to be doing the top jam installation, which is probably one of the most common. So according to the instructions, I'm gonna start by locating dimension A. So as you can see, they're already marked. So what I did here is first I measured that six and a half inches, gave myself a line to follow, and then I held my closer in the center of this and with a pencil, lightly marked my holes. So the next step for me to make it easier is to pre-drill all my holes. Okay, so now we're pre-drilled and we can install our closer body. Okay, now we have our body installed. So we have to measure one inch down from here, mark a line. We're gonna bring our arm in and get those other holes pre-drilled. All right, so the last part is just to tighten this screw down here and our arms installed. Now it's time for the fun part. And as you can see in these instructions, there are two different adjustments that we need to make. The closing speed, also known as the sweep, and the latch speed. So the goal here is to make sure that the door closes no faster than five seconds, but no slower than seven seconds. And we have to divide the time in half for the sweep and the latch. So let's make those adjustments. And that's it, our mock-up is now complete, it's installed, and everything is ready to go. If you like this video and you wanna learn more about glass, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons at the bottom. Thanks again for watching, I'll see you in the next one.